Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and do some pampering. As you can see, I've outgrown my eyebrows and it's for a purpose, okay? So I'm gonna start off by just tying my hair with the clip. Got this little guy here. I'm gonna do a face mask, a mud mask actually. It's a brightening mud mask. I love this brand, it's really good for my skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this little tool here that I found. I was going over my stuff and I was like, hey, I think this is pretty good to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just placing it on my face. This is so helpful because I'm not about to be using my fingers. So it can just mix a mess. I make a mess. And I really don't want to go through that. There's no perfect way of applying this. I'm just going in and I'm just having fun, okay? It feels really good already. This is probably used, or this tool is probably used for something else, but... We work with what we have here, so... So I've been super lazy lately, don't know why, but I haven't really done anything to myself, you know, any self-care self -care routine. I can't talk today. <laughs> I sh I'm just going to bed. <laughs> Look how easy this is to place on your skin. This is the, the longest actually that I let my eyebrows grow and it's driving me crazy but I really really want to get my shape back. I threatened my own eyebrows. And it helps with like growing your hair back. I guess it makes it more thicker so that's, that's a little tip that I can provide you. There's people that wax them, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but I feel like all of that waxing your eyelid and your eyebrow just like narrows down and it just, it's just not good over time. So, but if it works for you, do it, okay? But I'm saying for me, I just, I've never actually tried it and I don't want to. One Goodbye. And I'm going in a little bit on top of my forehead because these baby hairs drive me crazy and since I am a woman that sweats, I get acne up there and I'm like, why? It's been raining lately out here in LA. Oh my God. And for me, I'm thriving, okay? I am used to the rain. I'm used to the cold. But. It does, it just turns me very lazy. Aha. Uh -huh. So. I'm just at this point filling in the little gaps. Believe it or not, you can get acne on this area, and if you don't, you got some good skin. 
Alright. I like to go in on my nose area a lot. Just because I do have a lot of blackheads here and there. And... I like to take precaution. Alright. Just a little bit more here. And I think we're done. Actually, at this point, I'm just having fun with this. Okay, fine. That's it. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the little cap that's inside. It actually came with a little spatula, a little spoon that I can use. A little tool. I, I don't know where it is, so I just pulled this little guy out. And once I'm done, obviously I'm gonna wash it off. And then I'm gonna go in with this little guy from Garnier. And it's a moisture rescue. Not me, okay. So I am in love with this. It helps with dry skin. That's how my skin feels after this. I use that or I use another product, but I'm not, I don't have it nearby, so I'm not. And then I use this little Kilperry coconut oil rose toner. I just spray it right after that because it really does help me. There's no order to it. Well, there is, you know, obviously this, then the other, the other product that I <coughs> produce, and then this little guy. But if you use, or if you're familiar with this product and you use it in a different way, do what you gotta do, girl. But this is just how I do it, okay? So then I also use lip sticky mask for your lips. Oh. And I will put it on right now, but I, I'm not, because it's, once I take this off, this is gonna be a little sticky and it's just gonna, girl, you know. Anyways. But this is me. Woo! Getting all cute to go to sleep. Um, sticking back to my night routine. You know. So not only did I want to show my process here, but I also wanted to talk about this brand called Nubi, Nobi, 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 N-A-B-I. And I saw a TikTok about how some girl bought like 40 of these for like $20. I don't know exactly where, maybe like TikTok shopping cart whatever you call it um but what shocked me was that she was like super super impressed of the quality and i'm not gonna lie i was impressed as well when i first bought these little guys but what shocked me the most is that not a lot of people know about this what and i'm like either you're rich either you don't go outside because these are very, very, like, easy to get to. Like, if you live in LA, your local little store might have this guy. Aha! Uh -huh. Your 99 store might have it. It's just, it just shocked me, honestly. So I have all of these. They're less than a dollar. And they're all kind of the same um, color tone. But I fuck with this, you know, I love it. It's like this pink. There's this little rose brown. So this one's rose brown. This one's hot pink. This one's nat, wait. Oh, natural. This one is cinnamon lip liner. And this one's natural. So I have two natural ones here. These little guys are light brown. And as you can see, I, really enjoyed this color because i am loyal so look how small they are but if you really need these don't wait for tiktok like literally go to your local 99 cent store or your local little stores where they sell clothing um hair extensions you know you just need to know the plugs you just need to know where to go so I highly recommend to go to that if you need it ASAP and you know about a way. If you could wait and you don't mind spending that, that's all that's on you. But yeah. And speaking of this brand, I saw and I went through all my makeup. And this is another brand that probably people are familiar with, but it's the LA Girl lip liners. 
I worked at Ulta. Wow. wow. So I know the tips and tricks and hacks. And girl, I was not about to purchase like expensive makeup on the prestige side. I was on the drugstore side. And this brand, Sweetheart, is the best. This one's black actually, so this is an eyeliner, okay. I will place that on my eye, but it's really affordable, I highly recommend. You can be smart with your money with when it comes to makeup. I mean... So you see, you don't have to shop expensive, you gotta be smart. Anyways, that's another brand that I wanted to talk about. And then this little guy, it's called Romantic Beauty, it's a matte lip. This was actually new. Um, and I have this guy, and obviously as you can see, all of my like, my color palette is like really, really the same. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But it's really good. I already used it. Like this is like my everyday lipstick. Mm. Now obviously I used the other one for the you know the lining of my lip, but I just love going in. It's really good. See how dark that got? And on top of that, it's already getting dry. Ooh. So it's a good brand. Um, on top of that, I do have this one. This one's a little bit more of like a pink color, but it's good. Actually, I think I still have the price on this one. Two ninety nine, sweetheart. And then, of course, we have Maybelline. Um, this, you can find it at the drugstore. So you can find it at Ulta as well in the drug side of the makeup. Um, yeah. I haven't, I haven't used this. I've used this a while back, actually. But it's really, really matte. I'm not going to put this guy because it's hard to take off. But it is worth you seeing when you're actually going out. And, like, you don't want to keep putting it on and on you know so yeah and then I have this one as well I think they're not the same color they kind of look like they are but this one's more of like burgundy so yeah those are like the brands obviously this one might be a little bit more pricey than the rest that I just showed but I do recommend these actually are liners for your eye so I got these also at my local stores that I have around and they're good. These are like eyeliners, girl. Like, Ooh, can we talk about that? Talk about it. Um, it's called NK Makeup Auto Eyeliner, and it's silver. Okay, I have two of these because you can never go wrong with silver. Then I have this guy in red. So this is a little dry, but it's fine because I've used it a couple of times, but pretty good. And then I have this white one as well. I want to see. I've used this. I used it back in the day as well. well. Not back in the day, but you know, a while back. And it's good. I had to go over it a couple of times because I noticed that it had. It has a little bit of gold around it because I used it when I layered it with some other makeup previously, but don't mind that. They're good. Okay. And yeah, those are like the lucky little makeup brands that I found on my makeup stash that I wanted to talk about because I personally do think that this brand is good. Okay. 
this brand is good and so is nk makeup it's super affordable la girl the brand is kind of like washing off but whatever but this is a little lip gloss and it does magic and you clearly see that i used it a couple of times but i it it does what it has to do you can never get enough gloss but yeah affordable too probably like two dollars It's just the fact that people were like, oh my god, this brand, you can get it for like 20 bucks, and you can get, which is a great deal, by the way, of course, like, you know, by all means. But if you need it right away, go to your local places and like, seriously, take my advice. You're going to save a lot of money with makeup. I've had all of these colors and clearly you see that I really enjoy them because look how pretty that is. But yeah, now I'm going to have to take this off. And there you go. Clean face. 